Meredith is taking a stand, but let me tell you, boy, Dobby just moved the camera and <laughs> well, it was off. looked up like, yo! Do, yo, don't touch the camera. <laughs> oh, yeah. it, was, it wasn't pointing at me, though. <laughs> Dobby moved and was like, I'm going to just adjust this right here. He's upset because we're still making fun of him. Well, yo, he has made us, ever since he said that, he has made 16 different excuses. <laughs> He's like, they got a plethora of loofahs. <laughs> it's just, it ain't no assigned loofahs. Right. right. That's what he was explaining to us. That's what like, I was yo, to explain to y'all. You, you, you know, you just get what you get. Get what you get. How many loofahs <laughs> do you have in your shower? We Right now, we probably have just two right now. And yeah. we have a couple backups. And, and you use whichever one you want. Yeah, kind of. Are that's they the, the same color? Or no. Uh, that's, why are we not assigning <laughs> somebody their own loofah? Y'all need a big old name <laughs> tag. <laughs> hey, let's start for you. All right, so Meredith is up. She got three questions that are coming from the room. It's plead the fifth time. You only get one pass. Uh, I am your first one. Uh-oh. All right, uh, and <laughs> uh, I'm easy. But uh, let's see. Meredith, you had sleeves on. You missed it while you were out on vacation. Oh, I saw on social but, media. Yeah, Uh-oh. she showed them off in every picture she could. Yeah. It was um, But you told me that when you added those Amazon tattoos, you felt badass. Yeah. You felt, you felt like, you know, a little bit different from yourself. Yes, I liked it. And, and you thought that uh, Anthony would take advantage of that and maybe, yeah. you know, y'all could... Do a little sense. Tussle. Do a little sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So I wanted to ask you, have you and Anthony ever role played outside of your normal, you know, roles? Have you ever role played with each other? If so, what was the cast? I have asked so many times to try to do this, and he is not into it. I have so many different costumes oh from God. Halloween's. You want a Girl Scout? You want, you name it, a maid. I mean, it could be anything. And I, I honestly have it, a superhero, anything. I, I have wigs, and I've asked, and I tried. I'm like, this would be fun, even just for a couple minutes just to start off, and he's not having it. He's just like, Really? He's, he's like, not into it? He's not into it. No, 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 no. Because it's still just you at the right. end of the day. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Damn! I mean, it's it's how guys feel. Yeah, I'm at her so bad. Yeah. Yeah. But it's nice chance. to think about. I'll be a masseuse, a masseur, whatever you want. That's a good one. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, a little hot oil over. Uh, never mind. I'm not going. I was about to ask everybody, but nah. I'm like, this ain't that kind of show. Yeah. All right, Dobby, you're next up. Meredith, I want to know about a falling out that you had with a friend, somebody that you considered like a close acquaintance that you don't talk to anymore. Why did you guys fall out? Was it you cutting her off, her cutting you off? A little backstory. Um. Yeah, so that's happened maybe twice in my life. Um, And uh, I I think that was the transition from Jacksonville to Tampa. And we were still friends and we would travel to see each other and she would definitely come down here um, to Tampa. And it just got weird. She just started getting jealous of not only my job, but like the new friends I was making. And that's okay, I guess, a little bit because other people are coming into my space and you don't want somebody to take over your role if that's a really close friend. So for a second there, I was like, oh, I kind of get it. No, it was bad. And then she would randomly show up to my house and it became very strange after a while, like stealing my stuff. And it was just, it was just wanting to be with me all the time and act like me. And she would try to push out other friends and she would take my phone and cancel plans with other friends that were supposed to hang out with us. It was, it got too much. This sounds like that movie, Single White Female. Yeah, no, it was. And my, my close girlfriend, like very close girlfriends from college, they always warned me about her that they, she threw off those vibes. But I just, I just was like, oh no, that's just, that's not her. And it was. Oh, you had a cycle for For sure. So yeah, she had to be cut off. Mm-hmm. 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 Buck nasty. All right, Meredith. So I know you like going out to eat I and do. enjoying the fine dining experiences. Yes. But have you ever gone out to eat and had a really bad experience? Maybe one so bad you had to leave the restaurant without even eating. Mm. What happened? Um, there was uh, this happened when I was pregnant, though. And so my senses were extra heightened. And I really wanted like a, a, a steak and a potato, like extra sour cream, all the fixings. And I went into this restaurant and I guess they were having a special of lobsters that month. 
Okay. And I walked in, and the smell was so horrendous. Remember, I'm pregnant, so it was like, I mean, it just hit me in the face. And so we sat down, and I, I looked at Anthony, and I was like, there's no way I can stay here. I'm, I'm going to barf on this table. So we had to get up and go because the place smelled so disgusting. If you get um, a lot of frozen seafood, and it's it's been <laughs> frozen for a long time or, like, rancid, it'll yeah. smell really bad yeah, if you know anything about seafood. And that's what it would smell like, so we had to leave. But my question, did he move fast? <laughs> when you said, yeah. like, I got to go, like, did he get it? Because sometimes dudes don't get it. Like, like, I know I've had a couple situations during pregnancy like that. And I was like, are you serious? Yeah. Like, do you want me to throw up right here? I'm like, but we got to go. Uh-huh. Like, because I don't understand it. So, I mean, did he get it? No, he didn't get it because he okay. didn't really believe me because it's very rare for me to do that. But uh, my, I was turning, like, ghost white. And then he was like, oh, crap, we got to get out of here. She's going to really puke on me. So. Damn, we stopping mm. at Wendy's now. We have <laughs> yeah, reservations yeah. and everything. It's chicken nuggets uh, on the ride home. That's uh. crazy. Meredith, are you ready? I am. Meredith, who are in your top five rappers of all time? Okay. This is so entertaining for me because I know <laughs> you got some janky choices. No, um, Eminem, Lil Wayne, Drake. Oh, yeah, here comes the janky ones. Um... I got to do like some throwbacks. I just, but I love Trick Daddy so much. I knew Trick was going to I know, happen. I just I love him so much. Trick is in your top five? Oh, that's so sad and embarrassing to say. He was, Why is it embarrassing? Because you I rock saw, with him, you rock with him. I do, I do. But I saw him live and it was the worst thing I ever saw. It almost <laughs> ruined it for me. It was terrible. But it doesn't matter. Yeah, I still love him. Um, And maybe I'm going to throw Luda in there just to have like a little bit of fun throwback. Know all of his songs, all that's of his music. Five. I know. Okay. It, it was I'm, janky. I'm not judging. It's I'm just quick off, uh, you know, top of my head. Um, yeah, I think I think that's it. Okay. <laughs> Trick right. love the kids. <laughs> <laughs> Put that shit up. I'm wow. tongue, tongue. All right. Wow. Meredith, out to 813, if you could create and put money behind a reality show, what would it be? Oh, like a new one? Like a I new mean, one? you're creating it. Um, Unless you're stealing somebody else's idea. I would definitely maybe add a franchise here in Tampa for either Housewives or like another server show here. Um Maybe one of like the new restaurants or the new addition hotel or something like that that's going on here because you know a bunch of you know like all the maids, cleaners, um, servers, like everybody sleeping with each other. Maybe at a hotel that might be interesting. Mm, hotel motel. Yeah. Uh, Meredith, yes. uh, out of the eight six three, if you had if you had to choose between using Davi's dank loofah. Oh no! <laughs> or suckling on Orlando's toe. Oh man, oh. a little suckle. <laughs> <laughs> Which one would you choose? Well, with Davi's loofah, you get Davi and Joanna, right? Because yeah, you don't know. You get, you get them both, but you get a yeah. You and get, that goes all over their body. Uh, every every bit, <laughs> right? including the toes. Every, every bit of their body. Davi, do you put the loofah, you know, in between the cheeks? <laughs> <laughs> this ain't my believe the fifth. I'm asking. <laughs> <laughs> it, it helps me no, determine no, no, no. my answer. Wait, wait a minute. What? Okay. All right. Uh, uh. Does it go by your booty on the booty? What? Meredith, has the loofah touched your body? Has what? It, has, I, I hope so. Or what's the point? Yeah. I mean. It, What's the question now? <laughs> <laughs> okay, the loofah that they asked yeah. is, is, is between y'all loofah and my toe. Yeah. She has to suck my toe or use your loofah. Right. And she wanted to know, does the loofah have all of your unmentionables on it? Yeah. I mean, do I put them with that? Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got you to gotta clean up. <laughs> That's what I wanted to know. Thank you very much. Okay. Right. Um, yeah, I'm sucking a toe. <laughs> Suck them toes. Yeah, all day. Really? Yeah. I can take it. Pull them out. Pull them out. <laughs> yeah. I can get no, you have to that. shower first. I got to shower before you do it? I yeah. did it this morning. Uh, Yeah. Mm, no, fresh out of the shower. I was, that was like three hours ago. No, you, you weren't you Well, four hours sneakers. ago. Four yeah, hours no, ago. No, that's with the socks Brand and the sweaty. Brand new clean socks on no, too, man. No, I don't know. Throw that thing in your mouth. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> you sure? Yeah, I think I'm okay. All right. All right. Just then you missed out. <laughs> <laughs> Um, All right, so you got a boomerang. What you got for it? Okay, I want to know about role playing. Have you guys ever role played in the bedroom? Did you guys, you know, kind of pretend to be somebody else, or what? Did she? Uh, I did it one time, and that was where it was 
it was basically like I, it was a dessert. I was a dessert. <laughs> <laughs> a little snack. <laughs> that was the only. That was the only like thing. I, I have never been a cop or a repairman uh, okay. or whatever. But I was an edible. An ed- I was a dessert that was that was whipped cream. Oh. There was some sort of chocolatey sauce. Syrup. That, it was a real, it was a mess, but it was all over my body. I just I was laid on the bed. And there was a bunch of stuff, <laughs> cherries. Piled on you? All over. Like, like a buffet? Was, like a buffet. <laughs> you know, I had some, like, gel in my belly button. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, what in your belly button? <laughs> like, like, some sort of, like, like uh, strawberry jam <laughs> in here. Oh, my God. There was, there was, there was uh, whipped cream. Uh-huh. This is your there idea or their idea? <laughs> no, it was their idea. They just, we went to one of the stores. I thought we was going to come back with something good. We came back with all this edible stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and it was sticky. As hell. I had to yeah. get rid of like a whole bunch of my like Sheets bedding stuff. stuff. It was you gotta hop in the shower. It was a mess. Yeah. Oh, but, uh, but I mean, I I ain't really do it after that. Was I, it fun? I, nah, not really. Oh. I mean, it was good after, but I mean, it was still awkward because it was still sticky. Yeah, yeah. 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 I ain't really like it. Mm. But I mean, I I I do a dress up. <laughs> Somebody want to dress me up? I dress up. You, it sounds like you want to be a cop in the bedroom. I I love to be. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, my mine wasn't so much of like roles like characters or anything like that. It was more of just like the dominant submissive type. Okay. You know, I guess those I guess those are roles. It is. But yeah. uh yeah. It wasn't like a dress up type situation. No whips or anything. No, nah, it was like you know, light restraints. Would you be down to dress up? Uh, like put on a carpenter's hat or yeah. like construction sure. outfit. Sure. Little yeah. Yeah, a little tool belt. Yeah, a little tool belt. Yeah. Like, I'm here to fix the leak. <laughs> <laughs> so so mine mine was we were on a cruise and it was our second cruise ever that we ever took. And so when you go on a cruise for the second time, you get invited to the captain's dinner. Yeah. Right? And I was like, oh, we're going to meet the captain. So met the captain. Saw what he was wearing, right? And I was like, okay, I think I got that back in the room. So it was like a bathrobe with nothing on un- underneath. That's what the captain was wearing? Well, no, no, but it was, it was all white, right? It was all white. Yeah. And then uh, a Captain's captain's hat. hat, which we actually had. Okay. And then just like a glass of wine, right? And then and then nothing on under the robe. So I was like, huh, come meet your captain. Yeah, you want to drive this boat, baby? Yeah. yeah. You nasty. Yeah. All right. Uh, wow. Um, you have just finished, and you finished on time. Yeah, I did. Look at that, Meredith. Thank you very much. Meredith's on time. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Plead the fifth is a wrap.